Good morning. Good morning, Kingdom citizens. Good morning, glory carriers. Good morning, atmosphere changers. Good morning. Good morning, people of God. And welcome. Welcome to Love to Life Online Talk Show. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, people of God, we have a phenomenal speaker this morning. We have a great woman of God, an awesome woman of God, a powerful woman of God. I'm telling you, this woman of God, I'm telling you, she is, she's authorized by God. She's anointed and appointed and assigned. I'm telling you, I love this woman of God. I met this woman of God, I think about three or four years ago. And when I first met her, oh my God. I just felt the, the the spirit of the Lord. I'm I'm I'm, whew. I'm telling you, she has a word in her mouth for the nations. Amen, amen. And you know what? I'm going to tell y'all. This is Apostle Roma Benjamin from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Yes, Apostle Roma Benjamin. Whoo, powerful woman of God. Powerful woman of God. Apostle Roma Benjamin, I would like to say thank you for consenting to coming on Love to Life online talk show this morning. Well, thank you, first of all, for having me. I, 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 I count it as an honor, a privilege, and a blessing to be with you and to be with all of those out there listening to hear from the Lord this morning. Amen. Amen. Apostle, listen, before we begin, I just want to open up with a, a prayer. Father, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify you, oh God, we exalt your name on high, God. Father, we pray this morning, God, that you anoint this broadcast like never before, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Anoint the woman of God, Father, as she speak, God. Oh God, anoint her mouth, oh God. Oh God, what calls from heaven, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Let us speak with power and authority, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. You Use it, use it like never before, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Thank God. You. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank Hallelujah, you, glory Thank to God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to Hallelujah, God. God. Anoint her fresh, God. Anoint her fresh this morning, God. Anoint her fresh, oh God. Strengthen her this morning, God. Strengthen her body right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, yes, God, in the name of Jesus, God, oh God, 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 Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. God, you're God, you're worthy. You're worthy. Hallelujah, glory to God. I feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. I feel the anointing this morning. Awesome. Yes, Apostle yes, Roma yes. Benjamin. I yes. would like for you to tell the people who is Apostle Roma Benjamin. <laughs> First and foremost, woman of God, I love the Lord. Um, yes, I love the Lord with all my heart. Um, I just, I just know that God has been so good to me. Um, Amen. It, there are things in my life that that I know that God blocked. He stopped. He Amen. didn't allow it to happen. Every turn, every way that I went, whether it was good or bad, God was there. Amen. And I thank God today. I thank God that he saved me. He saved me and yes. saved thank me God. real good. Thank you. I don't play with salvation, but I don't just stop there either. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Because a lot of people are saved, but they don't understand the promises exceed salvation. So I thank God. Um today to be on with you 
Prophet, and, and thank you for having me. And Thanks. thank you to the audience that's um, listening in today. And and I talk to the audience. So y'all listen, y'all want to talk to me? I'm going to talk back to you. Good morning. Amen. Um, I see Sydney or Sydney Jones. Good morning. <laughs> I talk back. So if you have something that's on your heart as well, put it in the Put it in the stream, Prophet. I hope you don't mind me talking. The Lord yeah. dealt with me um, some years ago when I was um, doing ministry on Facebook with another ministry platform, and I was doing it out of my building. This is part uh -huh. of who I am, y'all. I was doing this out of my building in a regular church service, and the Lord spoke to me and said, you can't do that out the building. You're doing church as usual. Wow. wow. <laughs> he said, you doing church. All you did was take what you were doing in church and put it on Facebook. He said, take that out of the church. Take it in your house and get in front of those people and talk directly to them and minister to them as they come across the yeah. screen. It ain't about, thank you, you're so great and you're so good and you're so anointed. He said, it's about what they need at that time. You can't meet their need if if you're preaching as if you're preaching to the congregation and I said God and ever since then prophet I whatever I do online I talk back to the people Amen. on purpose I talk back to the people on purpose so this morning you said who am I first of all I'm a mother I have a son 32 years old um, I adopted him when he was seven and we had our struggles, ups and downs, ins and outs. But now God has settled us and, and, and we're on a firm foundation. And Amen. he was in, estranged at one time. And the Lord said, go back and get your son. Go get him because he has a call on his life. And yes. now he has a son. My three year old grandson can get anything he wants from me if I yes. have the power to give it to him. <laughs> And I know, I know if there's any grandparents on this line, yeah. you'll go broke blessing your grandchild. People say, well, he's broke. No, he's blessed and highly favored. Amen. And I thank God for that. I pastored for over 20 something years um, here in Harrisburg. It started out of Greater Faith Ministries and the Lord had me to change the name of the ministry in 2015. Amen. And Prophet, believe it or not, when the Lord told me to change the name, he said, when you change the name, they're going to leave. Oh my God. <laughs> my he, God. When, you, when you change the name, people going to walk out on you because he was preparing me for the apostolic. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes we think that we're, 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 we're to pastor until we die. And God said, what I'm doing with you far exceeds the four walls of your church, you know? And so sometimes we get, we get caught up and we think that if we're not doing something within the church itself, that we don't hear from God. He said, no. He said, you can't pastor like the traditional pastors. He said, I'm shifting you from that. And I, I'm going to talk about that yeah, in a little bit. But I, for 20 something years, I pastored, was blessed with a tremendous congregation. And when the Lord said, transition them into another um, individual, a young man um, in my building, the Lord said, transition them. I knew then that God was doing a work in me. Yeah. And listen, prophets, it had, it had to start in me. You know, we always talk about the anointing yes. destroys the yoke, right? We yes. real do at times. Yes. The anointing destroys. So we think that that means when I preach, I'm going to be so anointed. Uh -huh. People are going to be falling out and laying out and, yes. and all that. No, uh -huh. the anointing, the first yoke that needs to be broken is off the individual. The yes. yoke has to be broken off of me first before yes. I can really see the tremendous move of God yes. as I go forth in ministry. Yes. The yoke the, the yoke is on us and the anointing is the fatness of the presence of God. Yes. And when God's presence is on your life like that, it destroys yokes of bondage. It destroys habits and, and addictions. It destroys it, it destroys things that 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 the enemy put on us, but not just the enemy that we put on ourselves. Thank you, that's Jesus. That's right. That's right. Well, I that's thank right. God. I thank God. So I pastored for for twenty something, so twenty something years, and and I'm I'm excited that what the Lord is doing now. I'm also an educator. Yeah. I am an educator. I um, worked here in in the city of Harrisburg for many years. I'm I I'm not um, old at all. I'm still young. The gray hair was when I got <laughs> when I was a child. So that I'm full of wisdom. 
Yes, much wisdom. What much wisdom, Apostle? Because yes, I've been great since a child, so it cannot be, it cannot indicate age. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Prophet Timonia, um, gray hair don't indicate age. It, it, in my world, it indicates wisdom. And so I, I was, I principled here um, on, on every level that you could think of in every type of building. Um, I'm an, um, a well-versed educator with uh, many degrees, many cert yes, certifications, culminated in a doctorate of education yeah. as an educational leader and then educational leadership. So it's, it's not just, I, I believe, Prophet, that the Lord called me to make sure that we integrate and synergize the spiritual and the academia. Yes. The spiritual and the academia. Sometimes we forget that the Holy Spirit is just as intelligent. Yes. And we throw intelligence away because we just want, we think we need to be spiritual, meaning speaking in tongues and spooky. You know, that's spooky to me. When, when, when we, everything is, everything is spooky. You know, God said this, God said that. If he said it, he's going to bring it to pass. Amen. Everything is not a prophetic word for everybody else. The word of God is prophetic in itself. The, the kingdom of God is actually a prophetic dimension, yes. meaning the word is relevant at any age, at any time, any juncture, any trend. God's word was relevant from the beginning and is still relevant now. And so I thank God that I've been able to operate in both the spiritual realm and the secular realm as a teacher as a leader yes. in the body of Christ, in the schools. I, I used to tell people, they used to say, well, um, what's the name of your church? And I would tell them the name of my church. And then I would tell them the name of my secular church. <laughs> 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 because the buildings that I was in as an educator was, I was pastoring as well. You know, it, yeah. not, it doesn't mean pastor doesn't mean that you have to be in the church with pews and, 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 as, um, instruments and sanctuary and all, all that we call that, you know, so I, I thank God that he's caused me to be on many platforms. Yes. Yeah. And, and sometimes I, I forget where the Lord has brought me and exposed me and, and opened doors for me. And he, even now, right now, prophet, I'm doing, I'm on, she is still dope with Sheree Bailey. That's every right. Tuesday morning at nine o'clock. And, um, my segment is Keep It 100 with Apostle RJB. Now, I deal with today. Mm -hmm. I deal with today what's relevant for today through the word of God. Amen. And so, you know, um, I, I do segments like um, we were doing something about the... Uh, the angry woman, you know, the, the baby mama drama and stuff. And yes. I said, but, you know, we also got to remember that the woman... She may be angry, but what's your real reason for being angry? Because there's a man involved in this too. That's right. That's right. <laughs> there's a man. That's right. There's a man. There's a man. Good morning, Renee. There's a man involved. So we always talk about how the woman is hurting, but the man is hurting too. We, we talk about we talk about um, you know fathers and their you know their missing fathers, and I then I want to talk about toxic mothers. Come on, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if the father's missing, could it be because you're dealing with a toxic woman? You're dealing yes. with a relationship. You're dealing with a woman who's had children by several different men. And now y'all all through the court system and y'all all arguing and fussing. You go to church, yes. you can't stand to see one another. Yes. But we want to just deal with the with the man. Let's yes. deal with these toxic women that are out there. So those are the things that um, they need that, to be that, healed. Absolutely. We we need healing, y'all. We yeah. just need healing. We don't need yeah. any more preaching, hooping and hollering, you know, right. running around the church, jumping up on pews, flying like Superman, <clears throat> you know, doing all the things that have an outward experience. We, You know what, Prophet, the Lord was really dealing with me because we got to go back to teaching. Yes. Just plain Pure instruction. Yeah, kabashi, yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Teaching, yes, Lord Jesus. teaching, teaching. Te Jesus said it. He said when he got in his own hometown, he could not do many miracles yes. because of unbelief. And, and unbelief. teaching will uproot unbelief. Mm. Thank you. Teaching will uproot unbelief. So there, there are a variety of things. Um, woman of God that the Lord has allowed me 
um, to be. I've traveled to, to, to foreign countries as well, Africa and different places. And I just thank God. I thank God I'm humbled um, for the experiences that he's given me. Can I tell you all? I had some stuff with me. And if you really want to sit down and talk to me, I still got some, but it belongs to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you keep it 100, Apostle. <laughs> I, still got, I still got some. I know we want. We think that the folk up in the front, you know, they, they, they just everything. No, no. If we were really to be transparent, because parent is the new transparent. If we were really to become transparent and really speak from the word of how God has dealt with us, not just blessed us, but corrected us. Amen. 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 Rebuked us. Come on now. Amen. Come on, rebuked us. Just he said, I chastise those that I love. That's the word. He said, he said, I correct you because I love you. So now if 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 a natural father, or earthly father or mother does not correct their child, they don't love them. That's right. That's right. If God, if God doesn't correct us and then turn around and challenge us to be to be great in him, then he then we would have to question his love. I've been dealing with something uh prophet <clears throat> called bonded or bastard. <laughs> Wow. I know. I, I just have to keep it straight. <laughs> you keep it 100. Of bonded or bastard. <laughs> Illegitimacy looks legitimate, but the relationship is not real. My God. Huh. It has an appearance. Come on. We have an appearance. We look godly, but there's no power. Oh, thank you. Oh, Jesus. that's powerful in itself right there. It looks we good. You know, the garb and all that. It looks good. You know, you know, those that we have uh, ministering to us and serving us and, and at, at our every beck and call. It looks good. But some of this has no power. Y'all tell them I said it. <laughs> no power. They can't even cast out a demon. <laughs> Ever learning. But never able to come. Now that, that's the, oh my God. Never that's a powerful word. Never. Yes. We're ever learning. We we ever look like we have it. But we're we're void minus the power. And I'm not saying that in a judgmental way. You know, we, we mix up words, prophet. We mix them up. We we say stuff like, don't judge me. Well, you're really saying don't correct. Because judge, when God says, I'm judge, I will judge. He's saying, I'm going to correct. Come on, y'all. Yes. Judgment means I'm now going to place a sentence or a consequence on what I did with you, whether you did or didn't do it. But when, you know, because the, cause the, cause Hollywood took it and you would see on a lot of shows, people would say, oh, don't judge me. And so we, you know, then the church, we pick up trends. We pick up stuff, well, it is what it is. And, you know, we just start saying stuff that's not even, didn't even come from the throne of God. It My came God. from psychology. It came from, um, um, it, it came from physics. It came from stuff that God, that people imitate God, but didn't hear from God. Ooh, and and, and, and cause we, 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 spoke to, we spoke to imitate, Paul said, imitate me as I follow Christ. So if I'm not following Christ, you can't imitate me because if I'm following Christ, I'm imitating Christ. My but we have an imitation. We have a look. We have a look like life is for real. Like the, there's a movie, Imitation of Life. Mm -hmm. And the woman thought stardom was what she wanted. It really wasn't what she wanted. It was a fake. It was a byproduct. Mm -hmm. And when we think about, think about this scripture, ever learned but never able to come to the knowledge of truth. We can't come to it unless we're taught. Come on, somebody, get that out there. Hallelujah come to it unless we are taught that's right that's unless we are taught now, i know i done jumped in the part of the the, the segment that i done segwayed it <laughs> thank you jesus let, listen let the holy ghost use you apostle. thank you jesus because that's who god called me to be to understand to know you know you know prophet when i think about this 
a lot, a lot what's going on right now. Amen. You know, the chaos that we're dealing with. Yeah. The the turmoil in the world. Yes. The world is supposed to have turmoil. Yes. <laughs> because there's a God with a little G that governs the world. That, and a lot of people don't understand that. <laughs> there's a God with a little G that governs the world. God placed man in the earth with an authority authority to take authority over the god of this world my god of the systems of this world he did not place us here just to preach in the church to keep prophesying over the same people that we see on a regular basis yes. to keep yes. prophesying to keep casting devils out of them you'll hear me this morning we done cast the devil the same devil out the same people in the same church for years and we haven't done anything with the folk that's outside the church Come on. So, so the God of this world is causing much turmoil, much chaos. But if we remember God in the beginning, he created the heaven and the earth. And in between one and two, there was chaos. There was darkness. And God spoke to the darkness and he snatched and put light and, and told darkness, you got to go. He gave us that same power and authority. That's why I say the kingdom of God is a prophetic dimension because we still have that power as light yes. to speak to this darkness. So what am I saying? God does his greatest work in chaos. Mm. <laughs> he does his power, his power is exemplified. Oh my God. With much, when you hear the vitriol and all the egregious words that are coming out of the mouth of the leadership of our, of our free country, of the government, and then the same thing that's coming out of what we call the evangelicals, that the ones that are supposed to be prophesying and leading us and key prophets. Listen, it's only because God is judging. He's correcting his earth. Ah, yes, He's chasing his earth and the church better wake up and realize that the first place of chastening and correction is in the church. Yes. It's in or else his word would be wrong. It's in the church. You know, the, the scripture says in Matthew, the 24th chapter that and 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 what I'm what what I'm this is really blessing me because you know he tells us all that's don't going to take place. So mm -hmm. you know we call it the ends of time. Yes. And the woman of God, my mentor out of Florida, she said, "No, it's the times of the end." <laughs> oh my God! Yes. <laughs> is it the end of time? No, he's just giving us the times of the end. He's showing us different things, and when it tells us all that, and it says, you know, but but wait a minute, don't you get upset? He said, because this is only, he said, it's not the end. Yes. Now, this is crazy. He said, it's not the end, but it's the beginning. Okay, so if it's not the end, and it looks like the end, but he turns around and say, it's the beginning of what? Sorrows. Ah, yeah, 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 and when yeah. you search that word sorrows in the scripture, it, 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 it refers to travail and birthing. We should be birthing in this hour. Hi, yes, God. Such Hallelujah. a move of God. I will shaman say, Thank hey, you, Jesus. we should be birthing. It's yes. not time to just spend time with us four and no more. That got to stop. We built our churches off of correcting everybody in the church and afraid to witness outside of the church. My we, we spent our time prophesying over people that we are comfortable with. But how yes. about you go out there and prophetically witness. Hey, my hey, shot hey, up. Speak to them dry and bones. God show you somebody yes. and you give them the word that God gave yes. them, gave you to give them, and you keep it moving. You're not looking for an offering. You're not That's giving right. them your cash app. That's right. You always say nothing to me this morning. You go ahead <laughs> You're not giving them your cash yes. app, your Venno, your Zelle, or whatever tools you use to get money. You're giving them what God says, and you're pointing them in the direction that God wants them to go in and you keep it moving that's prophetic witnessing yes. but we don't do that because we come we become comfortable with prophesying to one another yeah well if you know my stuff you can prophesy you only say that to me if you know my trial if you know my test if you know my success you're gonna prophesy to it how about doing they that to just it? prophesy to the people that's going to give them money hello sis and that's not that's not prophet and that's not god i mean, god 
My that's, God. My that's God. That's not profit. That's P R O F I T. My Anytime God. you have to immediately or prior to sow a seed to get a word, y'all, that's not God. That's witchcraft. Sure witchcraft the word of God is free. You. Yes. Witchcraft is to manipulate you. Listen, it's an honor and privilege to be chosen by God. Yes. God to even use you. It's a privilege. It's an it's honor. A privilege. It's a privilege. And a lot of people, they don't understand. And they, I don't understand a, apostle. They prostitute their gift because they can prophesy. Uh, you know what? Everything got to be a cash app. Cash app me this. Cash at me this. I give you a word. And I'm like, well, can't you just speak to the people of God? Can't you just bless the people of God? Can't you just speak into their spirit? Can't you just speak life? I, I'm. It's a price. It's a price. To get a word, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. it. And it, God it, is it, not pleased with them prophets. He's not that, pleased that, with that it. does that. He's not pleased with it, but the people have promoted it. Yes, they did. Because you want a quick word instead of you get your face out of Facebook and put your face in the book, the word of God. That's it. Put your, put your face to prayer, and nobody's saying you got to pray all day. You got you have to technically That's be right. on your knees. You have to have a to leave. You know, we 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 put so much regiment to this mm -hmm. that it has frightened people away from God. If you don't know, if you can't pray for an hour, then you don't know God, and all this all this kind of foolishness. And God, God is not even in that. I'm promising y'all right now, He's not in it because right. I can't even tell you my regiment because it wouldn't even sound spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> it was just spiritual because we misunderstand the scripture that says pray without ceasing. Yeah. So does that mean I got to be locked up in a room? Do I have to announce it? You know, I'm getting ready to go into prayer, y'all. I ain't going to be talking to y'all. No, I got to announce anything. What I have to do is now some people do because they, they, God is using them on Facebook. So yeah. you do have to make it known. I'm not going to be on for a minute, but I'll be back. But God wants you to speak what he say and keep it moving. That's it. He never demanded prophet that we make what he say come to pass. My See, God. a lot of people understand prophets. Hear me, because I'm studying. I'm studying so much stuff. I'm studying prayer, prophet, prophet. I'm reading a book called uh, "The Rise of the Micaiah Prophet." Joshua Gills. Gil, I'm reading Dr. Miles Monroe book on prayer and and how we are to interact with heaven. Yeah transactions that we make with heaven when we when we talk about kingdom and i'm reading all these things and i read something in and prophet god giles book where he said you're not just speaking for god you are speaking as god wow the problem that people go on, they say well i ain't god he said i made you just a little lower than the angels <laughs> Then he didn't make us above the devil. He made us lower than that. Our 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 identity comes from his image and his life. That's right. That's the word. That's where our identity comes from his image and his likeness. And he said, he blessed us. He put the just like the devil's under Jesus' feet, the devil's under our feet. That's right. That's right. As That's Jesus right. is, so are we. We're not trying to be. Says, you know, we are the sons of God. I'm studying that too. I study a variety of things at one time. We are the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we should be like. But we know that when He shall appear, yes, appear doesn't mean the second heaven. It doesn't mean when He comes back. It means when I appear, when I come in your situation. So oh, thank you. Hallelujah. When I show up in your marriage, when I show up in your Hallelujah. business, when I show up in your failures, Hallelujah. when I show up in your addictions, when Hallelujah. I show up, you're going to be like me. Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. You're going to be like me. I'm going to show up in Hallelujah. everything. He said, I low, I'm with you even until the end of the earth in the fire. We yes. talk about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the yes. fire yes. so much. Y'all, yes. listen, we need to stir up the fire now. Mm. <laughs> we done put the fire out with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> we didn't get in the fire, so the, the fire went low. <laughs> it went low. <laughs> it went low because we talk so much about them being in the fire till there's no fire. We need to stir this up on the inside of us That's so right. that we can operate because the fire does a lot of things y'all the fire has a significant meaning to it but our, our we've got to go back i hear a lot of people saying the church is in trouble do you hear that prophet 
The church is in trouble and 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 and, and God's gonna kill the church. I just have one question. Maybe somebody can answer me. <laughs> <laughs> y'all thought y'all thought y'all had questions. If you have something, hit me with them. I'm gonna have one. Why would God kill what is his? That's suicide. Am I right? Amen. Suicide means you kill you. If Jesus is the head of the church. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Wonderful counsel of mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. Yeah. He's the son. The government is on his shoulders, not politics. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Not the government that we experience, the government, the ruling of life, the reigning of who he is. He is on his shoulders. Yes. And if he's the head, <clears throat> what would his shoulders represent? His body. So why would he kill it? Why? Why would he? Kill why it? would he kill the church in this? I, I had somebody tell me that was trying to convince me about President Trump, and I was like, "Look, I'm mourning right now. I don't. I, I ain't even thinking about President Trump. I'm look. I'm I'm dealing with the death of a very dear woman of God in my life, and I don't want to hear anything about President Trump that almost made me say a bad word. I had to ask God to help me. <laughs> well, I was talking to him. I did. I had to ask God. I said, Lord, did you temper my tongue. Because now y'all talking about the wrong stuff. And I'm like, and then they made the comment, because God going to kill all the black pastors. All so, the what? Black pastors. Well, why, why are you going to kill them? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Jesus. Dion. Good morning. Jesus. God's going to kill all the black pastors. That, 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 now, Jesus. how how why would God kill all the black pastors? Because that would make God racist. Okay, y'all ain't listening to me. So we say some of the ah, that went thing. over their head just then. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here's what's funny. Somebody else said, God get ready to tear things up. I said, Well, will you be in part of the terror? Or are you gonna be standing on the side watching? <laughs> See, the stuff that people say is so ungodly. Jesus. That's right, prophet. Why would God kill his bride? Why would God don't, don't, don't make me start with 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 the um bridegroom and the ten virgins? Why would God kill his bride? Exactly. Why that's suicide, y'all. But we, we 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 release these kind of prophetic words. Okay. It scares the people. It's not God's word, y'all. Come on. Let's be for real today. It is not God's word. Rose, the church is the body of Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. Jesus. Yes. Come on, Mr. Minister, yes. Minister Lack Lancaster. Hey, she said, love your questions, Apostle. Yeah. Yes. See, I'm one of those. I'm a, I'm a thinker in Christ. That's right. I'm, I'm very intelligent, y'all. I got degrees coming out my ears. That don't make me smarter than everybody. But I've always been a thinker from a child. So I always ask questions. That's right. But most of the time, Prophet, we don't ask questions because we think it's embarrassing. But if you understood that 10 other people got the same question that you want to ask. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Afraid Jesus. Afraid to open their mouth. Afraid to open up. If you would open up, that would answer yeah. many people's questions that's sitting in your midst. Mm. A question is still God using it. But I was saying... I was saying that why would God kill the church? Mm -hmm. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Oh my God, Dr. Burchette is on here this morning. Lord Jesus. Oh my goodness. Don't y'all don't y'all evaluate me today. I might be a little raw because I'm tired. Hey, Prophet. That's the woman of God. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Lisa. She says, speaking truth today, loving the message, Apostle Robert. Listen, Lisa, if we don't go back to teaching and speaking the truth, we're going to lose a whole generation. Yes, we are. And the generations to come. Last night, I, I sat in a church. I'm not going to name it where. I'm not going to name the church. And it was a lot of young people, a lot of young people. And the service was supposed to start at a particular time. It didn't start at that time. I shake home, but I'm not. So I'm sitting there. So, you know, I don't know any of y'all. You know, when God lets you operate in the spirit of discernment, you have to hold, almost go get a chain and tie yourself down and take a 
something and put it over your mouth so that you don't open up your mouth. Because <laughs> after, and I was with my spiritual son, they were coming from New York and I was just meeting them somewhere just to support him and love on him. And um, uh, uh, I was sitting there and they didn't start the service on time. So when they did start the service, you know, they got up and it was, come on, y'all pray. And I said, well, can't nobody pray. You didn't start on time, first of all. Now you're going to cheerlead us into the presence of God. You can't cheerlead me into the presence of God because I've already been in the presence of God. Void you. I come with the presence of God. Y'all don't have the presence of God. That's what the problem is. So some of the people that were sitting in front of us, y'all, I know they make, I know they, um, I know that they say holiness is still right. Let me tell you, take the word still from it. It never changed. Ah, yeah, bye, bye, bye. So cool. <laughs> yes, it never changed. It never changed. It only became still right when folks walked away from it. <laughs> holiness <laughs> has always been right. <laughs> I'm a word expert. I'm a word expert. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to etymologize the word in a, in a minute. So I'm a word expert. Good. We, we, we go with trends and language. We go with spiritual jargon, stuff that sounds, holiness is still right. No, holiness never was wrong. It never was it wrong. It just depends on your holiness. Come on, y'all. Right. God has always been holy, but have we? Ah, Jesus. Have we? What Jesus. has God set forth in your life? Because your life and my life might not be walking down the same path, but we serve the same God. We're going to get to the end some kind of way. I know that's right. Amen. Holiness has always been right. So I'm in this yes, church God. and I'm sitting behind some people and I'm doing the best I can, prophet. Y'all, I'm, y'all, I'm not playing. I was doing the best I can. I, 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 I survived. Y'all t- <laughs> I survived. Hey, there go, my, there go my dressmaker, Shirley Carter, girl, I need some outfits. I survived. <laughs> I survived, I'm telling y'all, because the people in front of us were the worship leaders. My God, their clothes were so tight. Oh, my God. They talked through most of the service, and then when it came down to lead worship, and they walked up, I said, well, God, how are they going to lead us in the worship? Amen. See, see and then what, what, what the Lord spoke to me, and I'm going to speak to my spiritual son to speak to this pastor of this church. They have no leadership. Hey, y'all don't want to hear that. They have no leadership. They have the titles. They have the name. They got the musician. They got the sound. They have the sound that we created that every church want to have. We want to sing the most contemporary song. We better go back to Jesus. Keep me near the cross. I know that. That's it. Ah, yes, we better God. go back to G. We better go back to sweet hour of prayer. Thank God. Yes. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, which was, is, and is to come. We need to go back to the old landmark. You know what, Apostle? I had spoke like a couple of weeks ago, and I was sharing like, um, where is the mothers of the church? You remember back in the day? The mothers in the church, like, if you come in there with a shirt too tight, the mothers will pull you to the side, tell you your skirt is tight, your shirt is tight. That ain't the way to wear your clothes. And then I was always taught by my apostle, Apostle Jeanette Gilbert. She was saying, I don't care how cute your outfit is, always wear a girdle underneath to keep everything solid. You don't need stuff be moving all around. Because everybody's eyes not holy. And you know what, sis, when we say, and I said that too, I said, we need the, the mothers. And everybody think that the mother, the mother of the church at? Everyone thinks that the mother has to be this old woman that's mean no, and breath, breath stink and all that kind of stuff. No, no. <laughs> and you know, got the church mints in their purse. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. There, there were some things that we did um, that was okay at that time. Um, but 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 God sent the the spirit of correction. Yes, He did. Spirit of correction to the church, because um, everything lawful is not always expedient, you know. Right. And so when I saw that last night, I said, Lord, I wish I had the opportunity to speak to these young people. We need the young people, but we don't. Somebody put on here the entertaining church. We don't need oh. entertainment. We don't need the dark rooms and the smoke blowing through and the light. You know- 
you know, that was when I was in the club. You know, when I was in the club, you know, that when, when I'm in the club, you all my hair because I got to I have a big service today. My hair got to stay right. When I was in the club, <laughs> when I was in the club, you couldn't see anybody because everything you were doing was wrong. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me today. Everything you were doing was wrong. You was touching the wrong spots. You was dancing with the wrong people, male, That's female, right. female, That's female, right. male, male. When you were in the club, you was drinking because you didn't want anybody to see you because darkness hides your stuff. So yeah. then the church, the Bible says, let your light so shine that men may see your good works. Come on, your yeah. fruit that you will glorify your father. Yeah. Glorify your father, which is in heaven. Not glorify your, your praise team, your worship team. Amen. You gotta go back to letting folk testify about the goodness of God. Don't get up testifying yeah. somebody made you mad and all that kind of fools. Yeah. Testifying about the goodness of God because this yeah. will stir up. This will stir up somebody in the church. Yeah. Somebody who's dealing with doubt and unbelief. Yeah. Well, if God did it for him, if God did it for her, he'll do it for me. But we got to go back to getting people, not just the older women. Yeah. Not for the older people. But we have to get leaders who are willing to yes. take our young people under their wings. That's why I said, I'm going to talk to my spiritual son. I, I, I got to get back to that church. I've got to get back to that church. Because while you're up there, and the, there, are lot, there were a lot of men in the church. There were a lot of men in the church. So while you're up there, you know, and you're moving, and then guys, you got our stuff so tight. We don't need to see your jingle jangle jellos. And this is. <laughs> in the church this is in the church so we say well god god is doing something different he never changes y'all <laughs> he never changes he's, he's always have. the same he didn't change we, we if, if there's a dress code in mcdonald's how come we can't <laughs> if there's a dress code if, if if there's a dress code in mcdonald's why do we take and say we're free now we can't use that our freedom as a cloak of foolishness. Mm -hmm. We cannot. We we if we're up before the people, we have to present who God is. Yeah. Not who we are free. Wear them tight jeans at your house or uh, at the at the mall or somewhere. Don't come in the church with all of that on. You can't even. And, and you know, in your business, they'll let you know if your dress is inappropriate. Yeah. So we lost that. Fervor. We lost, come on, y'all. We lost that teaching, the teaching that tells us to deal with the hidden man of the heart. Yes, yes. Somebody put on here, I, I was looking, not the intoxicating beauty of sin, intoxicating, intoxicating beauty of entertainment. I'm tired of entertainment, y'all. Yes. If I need entertainment, I could turn on Hallmark and watch a good old Christmas movie. <laughs> Sure enough. <laughs> I could turn on Lifetime and watch one of them good old crazy movies. I don't need to be entertained in God's house. What I need is a refueling, even as an apostolic voice. When I come to God's house, I'm coming to bring revelation. Now, somebody asked me, they said, would you fill in for me? And I told them, I said, I don't fill in. Okay, y'all didn't catch that. Jesus. I'm not feeling it. I'm either coming to bring a word, but I don't I ain't feeling it for you. Who do you think you are? You know, we got this thing all twisted and tied up in a knot because we have robes and and we have all this kind of adorning um that we that we that we that we think identifies and proves who we Amen. are. No, Amen. none of that identifies and proves who we are, Amen. Prophet. And so my my see y'all, I deal with what's relevant to today. Amen. Why would I go to church and be disturbed in my spirit and not go back to see what I can do to help assist, even if my spiritual son got to deal with it? But somebody got to hear and know that we've got to help raise. Now, I'm not, don't, don't get me wrong, y'all. The young need the old and the old need the young. We need each other in this hour. We cannot do this without each other. But if we're going to just sit back, prophet, I need y'all to hear me and say, yeah. I'm going to pray about it. You ain't praying about it. Jesus. You're just using an excuse to Jesus. not handle it. Wow. And we have not handled the Amen. things of God like we should. Amen. We've not handle meaning accountability is to give an account of what you're able to do i don't care if you got the greatest gift in the world yes you have to account for it yes you could sing till everybody fall out and if your character your life is not equal to your ability to sing 
It ain't you anyway. And I'm using bad English right there. It ain't you. It's God <laughs> still moving in spite of you. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. That's God. But they fell out in spite of you. He, they ain't, they not, they not falling out because you all that great grand and, and, and grandiose. That's, that's, it's not about you. It's not about me. And we have to go back to the foundation that Jesus laid. <coughs> Excuse me. When he said, I had to teach to destroy unbelief. My God. Prophet, the church has got to go back to teaching. Yeah. Especially yep. what we call the black church, our culture. Amen. Our culture people will go to a service and we'll give $2. Amen. White folk will give a thousand dollars and don't have to call their name and just say, Oh, I just had this in, and we and we gotta beg them for twenty dollars. We got to prove we gotta have all kind of lines. Get there's the twenty dollar line, the one hundred dollar line, the five hundred dollar line, the thousand dollar line, and we going we go we're going through a, a, a financial auction. <laughs> you know, and it doesn't make any sense. And then we accuse God of not being able to meet our needs. And God saying, but you ain't meet my need. Mm -mm -mm. My God. My need is for you to be a voice in the earth. Yes. And if you want to be a voice, a trumpet yes. That, yes. that's blowing loud and sparing yes. not, then I'll meet your need. Hallelujah. If you would go ahead and speak the truth in love and watch me shift this whole world, I'll meet, I'll supernaturally, the cattle on 10,000 hill belongs to me. Thank you, Jesus. If it belongs to me, I'm not trying to keep it with me. I'm trying to release it to you. Yes, God. And yes. God is saying on this line this morning, somebody hear me. He wants to release to you more than what you've ever had. And I'm not just talking about the new car and the new house. I know we go through that element, that segment, you know, yes. Lord, put you in a new house. God said, I'm putting in you a new spirit. I'm going to restore the joy of your salvation. I'm going to rekindle the fire that I talked about with the three Hebrew boys when they were thrown in the fire. And I said, many folk ain't in the fire anymore because the fire went out. We done preached the fire out of the three Hebrew boys. My God, hallelujah. Because we ain't getting in the fire. If we get in the fire, God would prove that he's right there with us through Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. God. He would prove this thing Ooh. to us. He would show us his greatness and his greatness. Y'all, every one of us on here today and share this with somebody, you're great. You're great. You're not waiting for somebody to Thank call you, you great because God already called you great. He said, greater are you. Yeah. I can stop right there. Hallelujah. Oh. Greater are you, not greater were you, or not greater will you be. He said, greater are you, were, will be, all that, the verbs. But greater are you, greater are you right now. You know, cool. people keep saying, my next, my next is now. Y'all, the word next mean immediately after. So next and now is the same thing. Come on. <laughs> Amen. My next, you're entering into your now. God is in your now. Now. He's in your now. God is about to do it. No, God is doing it for you. God is moving for you right now. Yes, now is. faith is what? Faith is substance. It's Ooh. substance of what you hope for when? Now. Come on, y'all. I, 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 I ain't even use my notes, y'all, because there's the Holy Ghost. Faith is now. Faith is substance. When? Now when you hope for it. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. It's evidence. When? Hallelujah. For what you can't see now. I can't see it now. But the evidence is that I believe it right now. Thank you. I, I receive it right now. Thank you. I trust him yes. right now. Yes, God. I trust him. I don't feel it. Habakkuk, come on, go up, baby. Go up to the, to the watchtower and see what I'm going to say. Y'all better hear me in here. Hallelujah. I believe see what you say you're supposed to hear what somebody said god no i'm trying to show you how to walk by faith yes. and not by sight yes. i need you to see what i'm going to say yes. then what he tell him he said now you i'm cooking and the back says oh yeah yeah now what are you going to do after i correct you because you've been walking by sight 
y'all ain't saying nothing to me. And then you've been walking by sight and not by faith. So now I'm gonna correct you and turn it around and tell you, write down the vision. Ah, and make yeah. it plain. Y'all come make on. I, I'm preaching to myself right now. Ooh. Write down the vision and make it plain. Yeah, I can stop right there. Write the vision. We so busy writing the vision, making it plain, trying to fulfill the vision, trying to do it. No, you write it. Come on, Habakkuk. You write it and make it plain. And then they that read it, I'm telling you, this is the word I ain't making. Hallelujah. It they will Thank read it and that. run with it. What? How do you know they're going to run with it? Because you're going to teach them the Hallelujah. vision. You're not just going to write a vision to be, to look like your ministry is all that in the bag of chips. You're writing a vision to teach them the vision, to teach them to fish, to teach them to give, to teach them to tithe, to teach them to serve, to teach them to trust yeah the lord oh, yeah. told me prophet the lord told me to go back he said go back to your vision girl jesus. he said he said first of all stir up that musical gift that i put in you jesus he said go back stir it up and i said well lord you know i gave away pianos and i and my grandson just wrecked my last little casio i ain't got, i don't have a piano father <laughs> because <laughs> I let him do whatever he needs to do. But I, this new piano, I told him, I'm going to teach you how to play. So I got a chair and he got a chair too. He's on the seat scale right now. <laughs> and the Lord said, go back and stir up the gift that I gave you as, as a musician, as a worshiper. Go back. And my spiritual son, Kenyon Porte, Apostle Porte, he just, oh. out of, he said, he said, he said, mom, come and, 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 and do the drive on one of my songs on my new release. I got to release it real soon. And I went in that studio and I'm telling somebody on here, the, the gift was so stirred. He pushed me so hard. The gift was so stirred up in me. I, I almost lost my mind. I said, man, I need, I, 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 I do two, I do tutoring. I'm, 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 I'm contracted through school and I can't, I feel like I can't go right now. I don't know if I'm going to say the right words because it, it wore me out. And God said, but I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. You got to stir it up though. And I said, I need a piano. Lo and behold, I have a piano. God supernaturally gave me a good piano. Y'all, I went and got my amp and my piano stool. I said, okay, God, let's go. He said, now go back and get the vision. He said, turn your ministry into a hub. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Hallelujah. Thank he said, you. turn your ministry into a hub. I'm going to show you how to make every room a multi-purpose room. I'm meeting with my grant writers on Monday morning to sit down because there's money out there. Now, yes. they're going to write the grant. I'm going to trust God. Yeah, you're about to turn out our bullshit. Right. I'm going to trust God to get me the resources and the money that I need so that out of the ministry will flow mentoring. It will flow single parenting. It will flow, you know, elements of substance abuse. You know, we don't have to only just feed them physically. Somebody around the corner has a food bank. So we'll refer them to the food bank. Somebody else has a clothing thing. We'll refer because we're kingdom, y'all. One person can't do it all. Damn. And the Lord said, now go back mm -hmm. to what I said. My God. And I'll provide. I wrote it years ago. He said, go back and revise. Ooh, Jesus. Mm, he said, go back and revise it. Speaking to me. I'm speaking to somebody this morning. Yeah, Is that true, prophet? I'm speaking to somebody this morning. He said, go back and revise it. He said, now there's something yeah, that you're going to have to cut off right now. Yeah. He said, there's some things that were good then, but they're not good now. Y'all ain't saying nothing to Amen. me. Amen. Amen. They were good Amen. then, but they are not good right now. Yes, Rose, this is holistic. We need holistic Amen. healing. Ooh, yeah, we need healing. So we need healing. We need yeah. healing. How's this healing going to yeah. come? We got to teach Ooh, people Jesus. the truth of the word. Yes. There's yeah. no more magic. Run around, turn around seven times. God going to do it. <laughs> Come on, run around. Somebody take a run. Run around the church. Run. Look, do that in the gym. Y'all go to the gym if you got to run. I, I, I understand sometimes the truth of the Lord. I know the truth of the Lord moves in unique ways sometimes. But we done turned it into a regiment. Y'all ain't saying that to me. We done turned it into a regiment. Y'all, I ain't running around the church. I don't even run in the gym. I walk. Oh, and ain't nobody going to knock me down running. And then when I see you later, you still crazy. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Pastor, hey, uh, you keeping it so real. <laughs> you done ran, knocked everybody down, and come to find out you sleeping around with somebody. Stop running and go to God in prayer. <laughs> yes. Ask God to deliver you. Deliver. 
heal. Jesus. This, yes, this, that's this you free. Not, you're right, uh, Dr. Brochet. This is not magic. Nope, it's not. It's this not. is not magic. It's this not. is not where if if I say it 17 times, it's going to happen. I know we done mixed the world in with the church. Lord, let me tell you, there was a woman who would not stop bugging the judge. That's and right. The, this woman done got on my last name. I'm just going to do for her. And God said, and this is what I'm trying to tell you all. Come to me. I got you. And if you don't believe, keep coming until you do believe. I know that went over somebody's head. If you don't believe, keep coming until you do believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, Jason. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank Be you. Specific. Because God, it's not, well, he didn't answer me and I didn't feel it. Just let it go. Let, I was dealing with something and I made a comment about myself. I said, I'm loyal to a fault. I made that comment. Somebody hear me. I'm coming to a close now. I said, I'm loyal to a fault. And my spiritual father, I was talking to him and I said that. And he said, Apostle, that's not good. And he gave me a scripture, but he didn't give me the whole scripture. <laughs> he did not give me the whole scripture. He said, arise and move. This is not your resting place. So uh, he gave me the scripture. I couldn't even really remember where he said it was from. I said, I need to see that in the word. I opened up the word. I found it. Micah, the second chapter in the 10th verse. This is for somebody. Hear me. This is for someone. It said, arise and move. This is not your resting place. He said, because it is polluted. Oh, my God. It Hallelujah. is polluted. And you are, you are the pollutant. Mm. Oh, my God. I said, to, I called him back and I told him, he said, yeah, I, I wasn't supposed to give you the word because if you really want what God has for you, you got to go get it. Yes. And I searched that word polluted. Somebody hear me. It means it's going to irritate you and make you sick. And the Lord came back to me and said, don't you say again that you are loyal to a fault because you're turning loyalty into adultery. Oh, God. Wow. Jesus. You turn it. We're supposed to be loyal, but when we're more loyal to a person, to a thing, mm -hmm. to a movement, than we are to the father God himself. Mm -hmm. That's adultery. My God. His word. He sent the man of God to correct me. Thank you. Jesus. And the Lord said, cause you got to move from the place that you're in. I don't, know who this, I don't know who this is for. And when I say move, I'm not talking about the physical movement. No. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying that I have to move out the state and move out this town yes. and move out my house. Yes. Yes. You have to move. You have to move from the mindset that you're in. Right yes. Now. Yes, Lord. You have to move from the thought process that you're yes, in. God. Right? Yes, because Lord. Jesus. As I'm speaking to you, you're going to have to let go of what you always oh, held on to. You, Yo, let, come on. Come on, somebody. That's not, you, even, that's not even real deep. Thank you, Jesus. That's not real deep. That Come on. That's not real deep. That's Thank like, like the man whose son was yes, thrown into the water, into the fire, and you, the disciples couldn't get him delivered, and Jesus had to come down from the Mount of Transfiguration, yes, to with him. and then the man was standing there and talking to Jesus, and he said, well, just help my unbelief. Oh, hey, my shut up. I believe, but there's some elements of me that yes. don't believe. Yes. Help me. Yes. He didn't say take away my unbelief. Y'all, come on. We so deep that we shallow. He said, yes. help where I don't believe you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Help me. Apostle, this is a great word that you give an apostle. This is a good word. Good word, woman of God. Good somebody, word. Somebody hear me this morning as I close. Hallelujah. Thank you Prophet, for letting me come on. Come for letting me come on. Ten wise and ten foolish, they were all virgins. Amen. But some took oil. Y'all, everybody don't have the oil. No, they don't. They don't Even the child who had the oil ran they don't out have the oil. because they didn't have the oil of the anointing. 
Amen. Everybody does not have the oil. And sometimes you got to move from whomever it was who started out with you. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're taking to you to the next dimension. Ooh, and I'm not being real spiritual and real deep when people say, you know, everybody can't go with you where you're going. You know, we say that kind of stuff. And thank God. Some people said that to me and they couldn't come. <laughs> Amen. They prophesied their own way right out of my life. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> they did no seriously thank you god but you know the oil of god never come on y'all hear me it never runs out amen apostle if it runs out when it ran out for the five it's because they didn't have the oil y'all ain't saying nothing to me and they tried to buy you can't buy somebody else's anointing no you can't you, you can't, can't buy it. somebody else's ability to walk in revelation knowledge and to speak to you can't buy the prophetic you don't know what i went through to be where i am i'm Ooh. not oily because i'm preaching i'm not oily because i have a lot of money i'm oily because i trust god i trust god i'm a sheep and sheep has oil y'all hallelujah thank you jesus Thank you, Apostle. You got to get back to the pasta. Be my shot. That the pasta and the position of prayer will keep the oil flowing yes. in Ooh, your life. Jesus. And I, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about. Yeah, I'm not it's talking about you prayed three hours and you fasted 25 days. You know, we start the year off with, I heard Prophet Giles say, with that weak Daniel prayer. He wasn't calling Daniel prayer weak. He was saying the church weakened it. Because yes, they, they turned it into a regiment. You ain't even led by God to fast anymore. It's a regiment. In that by Shana Kobe. Ah, glory. Said if we get back to the place where God spoke to us, God, you don't need to just walk, wait to get to church to hear from God. Get back in that place, whether you have a to leave or not. Most people don't even use it correctly. Whether you have a head covered or not, go back to the place, the posture, and the position of prayer. That's yes. where the oil is. That's where the oil is, y'all. That's it. And in, in the prayer, in the prayer, that's where the oil is at. In the prayer, apostle. That's where the oil is. Hallelujah. That's where the oil is. I'm saying Hallelujah. this, somebody, I'm prophetically Hallelujah. declaring this and decreeing this over you today. Today, that's where the oil is. That's why five were called foolish. Thank you, Jesus. That's why five were called foolish because they didn't yes, have sir. the oil. They didn't take more oil. They ran out and God's oil never runs out. Somebody better get that today. Hallelujah. That's right, Lamar. You are oily because you trust God. You're not yeah. oily because you super this and super that. You're oily because you trust God. We're oily because we understand that our life existence depends on God. It depends on the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ and the leading of the Holy Spirit. My God. Thank you, Jesus. I know. I'm, I've been an hour. I'm stopping. Uh, I'm stopping. Apostle, listen. I don't rush God. When God speak, listen, I take the limits off. I take them out the box. I let God do what he do best. And I let God have his way. Let him speak. I'm, I'm, I'm rushing. I don't rush God. I don't rush God. I don't rush God. I'm, 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 I'm oily because I heard God. Yes. That's why some of us, even some of us on here today, he's yes. shifting relationships. It doesn't mean that you're going to hate people. Nope. It just means that there's no oil for that. The oil, God's oil never, never runs out. Y'all no, hear me? No. God's oil, God is moving in us, outside of us, around us, but you can't continue to do and live the way you live. And I'm not just talking about sexual sin and drugs and addiction. You still, you can't live the way you used to live and expect God to continue to do what he's doing. Come on, y'all. You got to walk out. You got to I'm talking to myself. You got to step out now. Not faith. You got to step out. You got to yeah. step out. You got to step out. During this pandemic, don't be afraid to, to start a, a, a business. Don't be afraid. Don't think that the pandemic is going to limit you in finances. God is not broke. No, nope, God ain't broke. Kingdom will never God be broke. broke. Right. His kingdom will never be broke, y'all. If yes. we're broke, it's because we got in fear. And yes. you know, sometimes, listen, you know, fear will 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 cause you to fear causes you to 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 like stop. Yes. You know, like I can't do it. But some of us are discouraged. Okay. 
discourage means courage you know this is a negative word so if you put it in front of courage because you have courage come mm -hmm. on people. Mm -hmm. if you put it in front of courage that means now you're going to crawl up in a knot <laughs> and you're not going to attempt to do anything that's okay. what discouragement means see the enemy don't have a problem with you being in fear because god said i didn't give you fear I gave you power, love, and sound mind. But yes, he word. comes to discourage you. <laughs> yes. Jesus. So that you will operate in fear. He comes so that you can crawl into a hole all by yourself and say, God is too much. I can't pay for it. I can't start it. I don't have the intelligence to do it. I don't have the degrees to do it. I don't have the money to do it. I don't have enough people to work with me to do it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Just start moving in it. And the pieces will come together because he doesn't give us it all at one time. We prophesy in part and we know in part. Amen. We see in part. We hear in part. We don't get it all at one time. He said, I'm going to read this to you, uh, a, a prophet, and I'm out. He said <laughs> in, in Isaiah 46 and 10, y'all get this. Amen. He's declaring the end from the beginning. Amen. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done saying, my counsel stand, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. God's counsel will stand whether you have the money or not. Amen. Whether you have the people or not. That's right. Mega, megas is not numbers. It's power. Amen. So people want mega ministries. Small is the new mega. Small is the new mega. That's small it. is the new. He said, don't even despise the damn small beginning. Small is the new mega. Why? He said, because I take pleasure in blessing my people. Amen. He ain't mad at you. Amen. I don't care how many times you fell, you dropped the ball. He's not mad at you. Pick it back up. Amen. Pick it back up. I'm telling somebody this one. I'm talking to myself too. Pick it back up. Amen. Pick Amen. it back up. That's my that's my that's my instruction in this hour is to go back and teach. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody, a young man said to me, Well, I feel I, I'm called to be an apostle. I said, Now I'm not gonna take that from you, but I said, But how about mastering pastoring right now? You only been pastoring for five years. Ain't nobody gonna listen to you as an apostle. That's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's said, right. Do you want the pomp and circumstance of apostleship or do you want the foundation? Do you want Amen. the reality? Because you start, y'all listen, y'all start getting all these titles and all these, all these, these things that people want you to look like and sound like and be like, and it'll drive you yeah. crazy. It'll drive you crazy. Because if God didn't sanction it, come on, somebody. He said, Amen. humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And he humble. At, the, at the right time, hey, shama right. Time, I'll lift you up. Lifting you up don't mean a title. The title comes after it never came prior to. My God. I didn't get doctorate. I know some people do an honorary yeah. doctorate, and that's yeah. a blessing. I didn't get the title doctorate until I completed yeah. the assignment. My God, my God, my God. That's powerful right there, Apostle. That's powerful right there. I didn't get apostleship until I completed uh -huh. the walk that I had to. Yo, I, 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 I trained and met, I was mentored and fathered from 2010 to 2018 before the affirmation came. Because that was God's process for me. Uh -huh. Some people, they hear it and three weeks later, they... Okay, I'm, I'm. Let me stop, because it's foolishness, y'all. Amen. It's, it's we 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 electing. We got prophet elects and and apostle elect. The fivefold gifts they're not elect. Mm -mm. They're not. The ascension gifts that are placed in the body of Christ. Yes. And we've been teaching it all botched up and wrong because it sounds yeah. deep and real spiritual. Amen. And when you bring and when you bring correction, people get mad at you. But guess what? They just got to be mad at me, Prophet. Let them be mad at you too. Listen, it needs to be taught. Somebody on him on here, y'all do it in the spirit of humility. 
and in the spirit of love, but let them be mad at you. Mm-hmm. Just release, release truth. Because truth, Jesus said, you shall know the truth. He, Jesus came and he set us free. But then he said, but you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. <laughs> My God. Thank it's you, Jesus. Set and make are two different things. Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, y'all. I told y'all I'll etymologize the word in a minute. Set and make. He set us free. But then he turned around and said, but the truth <clears throat> will make. That's a continuation. Amen. Amen. Make means I as I'm walking in it. I'm continuing in truth. Jesus. Truth moves on, y'all. Truth doesn't stop. No, it don't. No, it don't. Apologize. It moves on because God moves. is a God of movement. I thank you. Ah, yes. Hi, I, I don't know, y'all. Y'all put down here. If, Ooh, if, Jesus. if if you need Jesus. prayer, let, let Prophet Brown know. Put it in the in the in the chat so she could be praying for you and praying, y'all. We need to pray for the kingdom of God to be yes. manifested through the yes. sons of God, yes. sons and daughters, your sons too, just like sons of brides. <laughs> we, need, we need to understand the language is not talking about gender. We need to understand the language is talking about That's spiritual right. position. Thank you. God, he, um, refers to sons. Sons. It's not no female or male. He says sons. Call it sons. He said the sons are, he said my sons are led by my spirit. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm teaching, I'm teaching on that on Tuesday mornings at nine. Y'all, y'all tune in and she is still dope. It comes up on my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Roma Benjamin. It's also in YouTube and Instagram. It's on a lot of platforms that the Lord has blessed Sheree Bailey with. So I'm teaching on the sonship. I'm teaching on that because we got that all in fathering. We got that all mixed up. We think because we carry somebody's briefcase and give them some water that we're next in line. No, the the father and the son um, anointing is a grace that flows from the father. Thank you. From the father, God. And then father, God, gives us father. Earth. Hey, not, it's not just a ministry, it's not just a fellowship, it's a grace, it's a grace, and they shake it. Joshua operated in the grace of Moses, the father, Elisha operated in the grace of Elijah. Come on, y'all. Come on, yes, I yes, I did it about Come on, come on. Come on. Come thank on, you. come on. Thank you. We, we thank uh, for Prophet. Prophet Sid, Sid, Sidone. There it is. Sidone Jones. Um, Sidane. Sidane. Uh-huh. We, we lift you up right now in prayer. Yes, God, this you. is why we're on here. We're not on here to wait till later to pray for you. You said pray for me. Right. Thank we're praying right now in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will lead and guide you into all truth, that you will hear what the Lord is saying to you. I speak peace over your life right now. I hear the Lord say, restore the joy. Go ahead and dip into the wells of, draw water, draw the joy, the joy, woman of God, joy. go back and draw water out of the well, excuse me, out of the wells of salvation. Hallelujah. Included in salvation is your healing, your deliverance, your peace, Thank your prosperity. Prosperity, your posterity, your calling, your servitude, included in salvation is all of that. Stuff. And God said, restore the joy. He's moving yes. in your life right now. Thank you. Hallelujah. He's moving in your life right in now. In the name of Jesus. Brave enough to ask for prayer. He's moving in your life. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Father. God, just for this opportunity and all those that I know, those that I just met today, we thank God for you. Um, we're believing God in this hour for what he is doing and what he is saying. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Prophet, um, for allowing me to come on this Thank morning. Thank you so much. Apollo. I didn't get to what I wrote down. <laughs> uh, but you know what? God God knew exactly what we needed this morning. Apostle, can you give us your website? Yeah, yes. You know, my website is www.roma, my whole name, Benjamin, my whole last name, 
Ministries, M I N I S T R I E S dot org, O R G. Amen. Amen. Very easy. My whole name with ministries dot org. Talk to me on there. I, I check it every now and then. I believe in God, um, prophet, and believe him with me um, for this place that he's taking me as as I, I turn the, the house, the building into a hub uh, for, for ministry to flow out of it, a variety of ministry. You know what, Apostle? I remember um, um, God told me to do a a conference in Harrisburg and I ain't know nobody up there know anywhere I was going to have this conference but I came to you and you opened up oh, the yeah. doors and allowed me to do my conference in Harrisburg here I am from Philadelphia and God sent me to Harrisburg and I said well God I don't know nobody in Harrisburg and God gave me favor with you and you opened up your church home and allow me to do a conference in Harrisburg. That's and right. Apostle, I love you so much for that. I just love you for that. Um, because you ain't questioning me. You just said, okay, okay. I was like, oh my God. So but apostle. Because we know each other by the spirit, and I knew the yeah. woman of God that you were connected to at that time. Yeah. And so I trusted what the Lord was saying and doing. Pastor Terry, I'm like, well, I met you through Pastor Terry Thomas. You right came to one of her services when she was in the firehouse yeah yes, yes yes in harrisburg and i met you that day you know and, and then apostle wilkerson was when, when uh, we connected again. To your church yes with a um dr um joyce wilkerson amen yes. amen amen yeah but yes. apostle i thank you so much i love you so much for coming on love to life online talk show Oh my God. Well, Apostle, listen, I know that you have a busy day today. So um, would you like to say anything else before you depart from the broadcast? I just I just want to say to everybody, love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And just at, at this time in, in the history of man, which is one of the craziest times that we've ever lived in, we've never experienced anything to this degree. I'm saying to you today, hear what the Lord is saying. Amen. Hear what the Lord is saying. Don't 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 depend on man. Hear what the Lord is saying and connect to the right people. Yes, that's it. Connect to the right people at the right time. Yet yeah, Simonia, Prophet Simonia, was on here. She said I was one of the first persons she met when she moved to Harrisburg. That's because she had a connection with a dear friend of mine in New York. Uh -huh. See, I don't drop names because I don't have to. Amen. <laughs> God knows how to connect us. She she was with a very dear friend of mine, a woman of God out of New York. And that woman of God called me and said, I just want you to, you know, just be led by the spirit of God. This woman is moving to Harrisburg and, and whatever you can do, just be led by the spirit of God. So that's what we do. That's what we, I'm so glad you were blessed Evangelist Daniels, Kane Daniels. I'm so glad. She's coming blessed. on my um show Tuesday. Oh, wow. What time? Prophetess um, Simona, um, she's coming on Tuesday, at twelve noon. Oh man! This Tuesday, Tuesday, this November Tuesday. the twenty fourth at twelve noon, she's going to be our lunch. I'm a tribe. I'm contracted with a private school, um, yes. so um, I'm, I'm at. You will there always watch time. the replay, though. Apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch the replay. Yes, Amen. I'm gonna have to watch the replay. Amen. But I, do, I thank God for you all, and and um, hope to connect with you again in Jesus' name. Oh, I love you, Apostle. Love Listen, you more. Honey. Thank you once again. Amen. And my son, Pastor Anthony, you know I love you. Loves you. <laughs> he he told me he wants to come to uh, be on. He's having a revival soon. And he said, I need you to open it up. You know, I'll do so. You know, I'll do whatever I can for that young man. I love him. <laughs> he loves you. That's my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he loves you so much. But listen, Apostle, thank you once again for coming on Love to Life um, online talk show. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Really. Love you dearly. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hello. Hello. Hey, I don't see your face. Oh, I'm there, but just go ahead on with the Billboard shout outs. 
Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, Apostle Benjamin, thank you so much again for joining us today. Uh, by way of our billboard announcements, the Shelton T. Hayes Foundation is having their annual sock drive. They're looking to collect 1,000 pairs of socks to donate to shelters this winter for men, women, and children. If you are able to donate and you would like to mail or drop off your donation, you can do that to 7701 Overbrook Avenue, Philadelphia, PA 19151. If you're unable to do that and you would like to give a monetary donation towards the sock drive, you can also do that by cash apping Rhonda Gore. Uh, for more information, that flyer is on our Love to Life Facebook page. Amen. Apostle Dawn Chisholm and Rebuilding Lives Ministry Crossway has end time prayer every Thursday, Bible study every Tuesday, and live services every Sunday. You can visit uh, Rebuilding Lives Ministries on Facebook. You can also see the flyer for those advertisements on our Love to Life Facebook page. Amen. Prophetess Joanna Bircher is the founder and CEO of Gospel for You, and she's also launching a school entitled kids for the Le future learning academy um for donation purposes for her schooling you can see her uh her go to her facebook page for more information concerning that and for all things that gospel for you offers you can see uh her advertisement for that on our love to life facebook page pastor Leia artist has um a warrior wives and women in wait every sunday at 9 a.m Eastern Standard Time on Facebook. You can go to our Facebook page for all of her social media uh, add-ons. She's on Periscope, Facebook, uh, Instagram. I believe it's all on our Love to Life Facebook page. You can go there for more information. Uh, Dr. Ulysses Pratt is having his uh, leadership school. It's opening and accepting uh, registrants from uh, from now, starting now, you can go and register if you'd like. The classes begin December the 5th to January the 23rd from 10 to 11 a.m. Um, it's it's going to be via Zoom. And uh, you can also get inf more information by emailing leadership4.0 at gmail.com. Or again, his flyer is also up on our Love to Life Facebook page. Mm -hmm. uh, Greater Glory Ministry with Pastors Jason and Natasha Glasgow. They're celebrating their one year of. Uh, anniversary. Uh, their service will be held December the 6th, 2020 at 1030 a.m. The location for that is 400 East Bringhurst Street, Philadelphia, PA 19144. Their guest speaker for that day will be Apostle Chantel Poole, and they're also going to be uh, having it live on Facebook. So for more information, again, you can see that advertisement on our Love to Life Facebook page. Amen. Uh, Women Call with Divine Purpose Ministry is hosting the Refiner Fire Women's Retreat. That will be from April the 23rd to the 25th of 2021. Uh, for more information, you can see the flyer on our Facebook page um, and contact Lady Duncan at 267-979-3214. Uh, Leading Ladies Network with uh, Dr. Sandy Burnett is having pastors, wives, Paul panel, excuse me, discussion today at 5 p.m. It's going to be live on Facebook. Uh, again, that advertisement is on our Love to Life Facebook page, and you can also visit www.sandraburnettministries.com for more information. Uh, if you are looking for a job, if you need a job right now, uh, New Destiny Financial Group Agency is hiring for life insurance agents, life insurance agents. Um, and if you are interested in becoming licensed, um, they will provide schooling uh, for you to get licensed. Um, again, you can see this advertisement on our Facebook page. If you are an employer and you are hiring and you have positions available, feel free to send us a flyer uh, with your information concerning your job opportunities to love to life 717 at gmail.com and we'll be happy to 
billboard shout it out <laughs> as well as uh put it on our love to life facebook page for others to see uh if you are an amateur artist we would like to begin a new segment entitled entertainment corner and you're looking to uh showcase your talent and your amateur feel free to reach out to us at love to life 717 at gmail.com and we'll link up and we'll get a chance to talk to you and all that sort of things um so that we can go ahead and get that segment up and running. And if you are interested at all in uh, overseeing that particular area, if you're interested um, with the arts and crafts of entertainment, yeah. uh, we're definitely looking for a new team member as yeah. well to help us with that. Coordinator. We look yes. for entertainment coordinator. So, so you, you can also reach us. Just reach out to us. Yes, love, love to life 717 at, at gmail.com. Um, and also, if you would like something to be shouted out in the Billboard segment uh, of Love to Life talk show, then feel free to, again, send us your uh, flyer with your announcements, the information to love to life 717 at gmail.com, where we will be happy to give you a shout out. Um, again, Go and follow if you haven't already done so and like Love to Life Facebook page to keep up with all the Billboard shout out announcements. And also you can go and join our group, Love to Life online talk show Facebook group to stay up to date with all our previously recorded and live recorded broadcasts. Amen. Uh, tonight we will have uh, Bishop Kenneth Booker as a Amen. speaker at 6 p.m. So if you are free, feel free to come back and join us then. Yes. Uh, myself, you can find me on YouTube at Lo um, Love to Life at uh, <laughs> Live, Breathe, Beat. Desmoid Tumor. Uh, it is a, a YouTube channel that I am using to uh, encourage people and also to share my testimony. So Amen. I have a 10 episode testimonial vlog called She Named It Trevor that's exactly. already up and posted. And then um, currently I have a Friday Faith Sessions every Friday where I just, you know, use it to try and encourage people. Amen. Especially, you know, there's just so much happening, so many things that people are dealing with. I think everybody needs a little word of encouragement. Amen. And I think it helps, too, that it comes from a young lady. I'm a young lady, you know. Uh, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> and again, if you are in the Philadelphia area and you're looking for somewhere to fellowship on Sundays, feel free to join us at Revival Church of Love and Deliverance. We're located at 2617 West Hunting Park Avenue, Philadelphia, PA 19129. And our overseer is Apostle Jeanette Gilbert. Our doors are open for uh, Christian education at 10 a.m. And our services begin at 11. Amen. Again, you can find all of our information on Love to Life Facebook page. Amen. And if you would like to contact us for any reason, feel free to email Amen. us at love to life 717 at gmail.com. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you so much, Brianna. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. <laughs> Listen, people of God, don't forget to tune in to, um, for this evening episode um, with um, Bishop Kenneth Booker, amen, at 6 p.m. And then on Tuesday, Saturday, yes. I'm at Tuesday, November the 24th, we have Prophetess Simonia Wissenop um, will be our guest speaker at 12 noon. She will be our lunch break treat. Amen. Amen. Listen. I would like to thank everyone once again for tuning in to Love the Life Online Talk Show. Take the Lord with you all day to day. Amen. God bless. Adios. <laughs>